Back to the line now. New Mexico is especially vulnerable to predatory lending because we're a poor state. Seeking to combat the personal debt spiral, some local governments have offered loans to public employees. Now, interest rates seem pretty steep until you compare them to the much higher rate that payday lenders charge. Jessica Dyer of the Albuquerque Journal reported on the partnership both Albuquerque and Bernalillo County have with a private company that has loaned more than a million dollars to hundreds of employees. Other munis, including Las Cruces and Santa Fe, have similar programs. And Lieutenant Governor, you worked closely with the AG on trying to rein in predatory lending. Got to throw in Patty Lundstrom, of course, on this effort as well. She was right by your side on that. Um, with interest rates up to 25% for these government employees, I, I, it's something interesting here. I'm just interested in your personal take on when you read this article. How did it hit you in the gut when you saw a 25% rate? Did, is it low? Is it high? What's going on there well, for you? Well, compared to payday lenders, right. it's really low. Yeah, yeah. But compared to what other people can borrow for, it's the it's like having a credit card at a 25, 27%. So it's, right. um, but it is a way to, uh, I think, provide a benefit to your mm -hmm. city, county employees that they may not have otherwise. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about salaries in general at the, at the municipal level, mm -hmm. and if people get in a bind. Um, so initially I was like, oh, we can't celebrate 24% interest rate. Mm -hmm. But it, I, when you put it in the context of being a, an employee benefit and getting people out of a jam maybe. Mm. It looks like most of them are rather small loans. Mm -hmm. They have a definite payback method because it comes out of your paycheck and, right. and it has a limit how much they can take out of each paycheck. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't put them even further so they're gonna go really off to another payday. But New Mexico mm -hmm. has had a scourge of payday lending for there. so many years. Right. We have 600 payday lenders in this state. Wow. They're poorly regulated because the banking under the regulation and licensing has very few people and they do payday lenders, ATMs, state chartered banks. Wow. And they have like, I believe 10 people. Yeah. Wow. And they do all the ATMs. They even monitor, you know, ATM rates and fees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we don't have the infrastructure to regulate payday lenders right and if you have smart people in the city who and and it's a good company but it has to be monitored it has right. to be monitored right and it's almost like uh i don't want to challenge the lieutenant governor here too sharply here but it almost feels like government sanctioned high interest loans at 25 percent that perhaps we've gotten a little softer on this idea we hear this idea of 175 percent 200 percent so much suddenly 25 percent sounds like you know, relatively nothing as the lieutenant governor. But is that the right approach? Uh, you know, 25% suddenly is a, is a deal somehow, you know. That's right, Gene. The, the question really is, you know, what is government's role as, right. a, as an employer for its employees? Is this the appropriate place for this type of thing to take place? Right. Of course, we all have compassion for those who might run into financial hard times. Mm -hmm. But what are the other the, the options? And what are the other components that mm -hmm. might be associated <laughs> with those employees who find themselves, you know, uh, deep in debt even for a short period of time. Right. Is the city or, or the uh, municipal government entity offering, um, uh, what do you call it, um, mm -hmm. financial literacy courses. Right. In law school we had financial literacy courses. That was one of our, mm -hmm. uh, the, the expectations that mm -hmm. you know, if you're gonna take out a, uh, a student loan, you probably ought to take financial literacy courses as well. Right. So, the question, so, so the question is, is this, the the place for government to be in in, in the loan in as you asked that question i apologize to you and ever the table and and, and the viewers i kind of chuckled there because in my mind i heard tennessee ernie ford singing company <laughs> store that old yeah. song because yeah. you know? it almost sounds like this is what's going on it's the company store it's not that bad because obviously this, the city is not taking a huge cut out of it it's not like they're might like this be more a more mm -hmm. appropriate place for maybe a union maybe the union can help its help its members maybe they're in a i had that same thought in the city yep interesting you said that david interestingly one of the metrics that popped out at me in the in the reporting that colleen did is it's the folks taking out the loans, Lieutenant Governor mentioned they're fairly small, about 1,900 is the average. Right. But the average salary of those taking these loans is between about 41 grand and 45 grand. Right. Now some folks might say that's pretty good dough around these parts. Right. But what does that say that even if you're pulling in that kind of money, I'm going to assume with a health plan, of right. course, you're working for the city, so your money's not going out the door that way. Right. What does that say about how vulnerable people can but, be sometimes? But I mean, I think that we have mm -hmm. to look at this in, in, in the overall 
you know, had financial health of the average American consumer. The Pew Charitable Trust was very clear. They did a survey. The average American household does not have $400 in cash for an emergency. They have to borrow it. They have to That's sell right. something. Right. They have to use a credit card. And I think that, that if we look at that, we have an economy that's hostile. It is a very tough economy. If you're a municipal employee, mm -hmm. you may need that loan. And I think to some credit that the municipality, municipalities, this program said, we have employees that are going to need this program. Let's get them the program. We're protecting them from a higher interest rate. The bigger question is, what are we going to do for the American economy so that people are not in this situation? Well, the little guy is in distress. He's been in distress for 30 years. Let's fix it. Mm -hmm. Let's make it so that people, my father raised four kids, put everybody through college. He was a civil servant, a federal one. You could not do that today. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to start looking at the bigger picture. Stop describing the problem. Let's look for the solution. How do we get more households, more money? Senator, I have another question. I want to throw right sure. on the table. I'll start with you. We also have a situation we have upper tier folks in our city government just got a couple of raises in some really good ones as a matter of fact. Right. And they really got a 2% raise as mandated by the legislature that everybody was going to get a raise. Then a whole bunch on top of that. But meanwhile they're offering lower salaried folks almost payday light loans. <laughs> Something doesn't seem quite in balance there. How does that strike you? Yeah, I, I read the paper this morning and I went, oh, geez. Right. You know, it, it, it's kind of a, uh, it, two things. One is, it seems to me that, well, you know, with all the money that we had, mm -hmm. a 2% raise, now this was coming from the legislature, that mm -hmm. wasn't the city 2%. That's right. That was in their budget, but 2% is not very much when you look at Forty-five thousand dollars a year, right? And if you, and if everybody doesn't have, or most people don't have, the four hundred dollars to handle an emergency or water heater or something like that, mm -hmm. then it's a problem. And this may be a relief. Having heard many of the statistics and sat in on committees um, about payday lending, I mean, we're talking. We're not talking twenty-five percent. We're talking three hundred percent. That's for right. payday loans. That's right. So 25% is certainly going in the right direction. But my biggest concern mm -hmm. is we're creating government banks. Right, right. And, and, <laughs> and I'm a very much a uh, private uh, entity person. Sure. And I, the, the one thing I wanted to mention was um, U.S. Bank is offering a payday loan or a simple loan there they have capped their APR at 70 percent now that's certainly more than 25 percent right. but it sure beats the heck out of 375 percent right. so I'm gonna have to hold you there unfortunately we're out of time okay. it's, it's an interesting little footnote there because this issue is I think Ed's on to something about the union there's, right. there's yeah. something there about that that could use yeah. some attention but this is an interesting program we'll see how this goes out of time with this group thanks to you all see you next time